Hi, my name is Victor and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install OpenCAT version 4.0. Uh, by the time of this recording, uh, OpenCAT 4x is the latest one and um, let's see how to install it. So first thing you'll need is to obviously download it from OpenCAT site basically open cut and then you click on this download uh, menu and then you should be able to download it here and if you want to see the release notes you can just check here previous releases and uh, it will have like details of different kind of uh, versions and what were the major changes okay so uh, for you to install open cut on the local machine you will need a, a server and in my case i'm using zamp you can also use warm server or a different server that you are comfortable working with um, one of the requirement for opencut uh, i mean opencut 4.0 is you need php 8.1 plus that is a a later version of, of uh, PHP 8.0 so that's the first requirement and then uh, with that you can see it's using bootstrap 5 and uh, jQuery 3.6 anyway so this is pretty much about the latest changes uh, in OpenCAT uh, without uh, wasting too much time let's continue to the main business which is to have it installed so once you have downloaded your server and uh, you also you've downloaded your open cut it's time to install it and uh, how do we do it let's first let's unzip uh, just unzip it here so that um, we can install it and uh, as the unzipping continues we can create the database and uh, in this case just create a new database let's name it opencut uh, underscore 4.0 uh, and then create it once we have that can check if uh, this is done yeah so we have it here i'll just rename this folder to open cut 4x now 4.0 makes sense and then um, within these you can see we have a lot of um, files uh, if you don't need that you can just move directly to this um, so once we have these files unzipped now it's time to start the installation so the first step is to ensure that we we create configuration files and uh, we will just rename this config dist to um, config file so config.php then we have another file within the admin folder we also rename it to config.php once we have that um, it's time to install so just go to the browser and uh, localhost uh, projects uh, in this case it's opencat 4.0 then upload so ensure you capture the, the exact uh, folder so this is the first page that you'll see uh, as the first step so you need by continuing basically you, are, you agree to this license and then the next step will be the pre-installation uh, verification so you can see please make sure the extensions listed below are installed in my case the GD extension is not installed so I'll have to fix that and the way you fix this is just by checking here apache config and then um, i'll need to check it should be 
php ini and then find gd con gd extension find then just remove the semicolon uh save it uh restart apache so once you've restarted apache i think it should be okay so now you can see the gd extension is is now okay and uh our config files are uh writable now we can continue to the next page which is um you need to provide the database connection details and also the admin details so in my case the username is root no password for, for my case but if your database um has a password i mean if your database has a password you need to provide it um i've created a database called opencat underscore 4.0 and then for this part two it's basically the admin login details so i'll just do something like this one two three that then provide this so next step is to continue and open cut will run the configuration um write a con configuration files who is gone away create table so we need to understand why we have this issue so let's see we need to seems my my sql restarted so we will need to run it again so um once we've done that we are able to see that uh, the installation is complete and i'm supposed to uh, delete the installation directory so in this case i'll just rename it to something else like um uh, that so now i'm able to do uh to go to my site yeah so there we have opencat 4.0 installed on the local machine so let let's test that you can also access the admin admin yeah so with admin it's admin and then the password was one two three four five six so yeah there we go i'm able to to log in and uh that's all that you need for you to install opencat 4.0 so guys that's pretty much about it if you have any questions or you need any modifications for your open cut you can reach out to me uh in the comments and then uh, see what you can do so see you guys in the next video